Rise and Ground, folks. Guys, welcome to another edition of Monday Morning Quarterback. Guys, I'm on the way to an existing customer. They don't have a maintenance agreement with us, but I know this customer had a heat pump, and we went out there last year, and I don't know what the complaint was. I think the heat wasn't working, and guys, when we came out there, everything was okay with the unit, but this customer had a Nest thermostat, and the Nest, the Nest thermostat wasn't turning the electric heat on, so... At that point, guys, like I said, if we jumped everything out and it worked, if we jumped out the thermostat, then something's going on with that thermostat. But, and I think that was a brand new thermostat, but we recommended putting it in a T6, but the guy didn't want to do that. So he recommended, well, he wanted to get another Nest thermostat. And we never heard back from him ever since. But guys, this guy called back yesterday and said that the heat pump was blowing out cold air. He's, he's not getting warm air coming out the vent. So guys, I don't know. We'll see what's going on. I'll see y'all when I get inside. All right, guys, just like I suspected, I'm going to give you guys a recap. Something's going on with that thermostat. But, guys, I just got back from the supply house. I just got our T6 Wi-Fi. But I'm going to give you all the recap here in a second. Let me put my stuff back. And my serpentine belt went yesterday with my other van. I had to get some work done to that van anyway, so guys, I'm in my other van. I gotta put some wear and tear on this bad boy. All right, guys, let's go in. Put this here. And this is just an air handler. Let me put the light on here. This is just an air handler and heat pump. And guys, as you can see, the only way I can get my heat pump to turn on is by jumping out the thermostat. So, right now I got the power off. And right now, this customer has a Nest thermostat upstairs. And you guys know how I feel about Nest. But, This customer said that two days ago, he just had cold air blowing out the vents. And as soon as I got here, seen a dirty filter, took the filter out, reset it, and I was getting 47 degrees coming out the vents. Heat pump wasn't running. So instantly I knew something was up and the heat pump wasn't giving me an air cold outside. We're gonna go out there in a second, but Guys, hold on. Let me put the doors back on in here. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Let's go outside. This is our beloved 15 sear Duquesne unit. And yeah, guys, when I got out here, initially my suction line was frozen. And I thought maybe the customer had the um, unit running on heat mode, I mean on AC mode, but I turned everything off and I waited until my suction line thawed out. And guys, I actually mainly jumped out my R to Y and for you guys that don't know, with Duquesne reversing valves, it only gets energized on the call for AC, not heat. So I just jumped out R2Y and my suction line got hot. So instantly guys, with everything being hooked up right and no safeties being open inside or out here, I knew that something was going on with that thermostat. And right now I got the power off inside. But guys, hold on, let me put the door back on. I'll be right back. So yeah. This thing was blinking the anti five minute time delay, and as soon as it turned on, the suction line got hot. So, guys, here with these Nest thermostats, I don't know. Like I said, maybe one of you guys can tell me, but after a while, something always goes haywire with these Nest thermostats. And, guys, we're not talking about communicating equipment, we're just talking about standard gas furnaces and heat pumps. Over time, I never had a customer keep a Nest thermostat without issues. But, 
I got my T6 Lyric. Make sure I got everything. All right, guys, let me pop a new one in. I'll be back. All right, guys. I got my new thermostat upstairs. And I just finished programming it with the customer. He had to download the Residio app. And also we got new filters. I just gotta go outside to make sure that this heat pump is turning on. My supply is going up. And yeah, guys, there's really not much to it. Um, with these heat pumps, like I said, these heat pumps are meant to work in tandem with your electric heat or your backup heat. And guys, like I said, I was gonna make a video in regards to what I did before. I don't know, it's some, It's not eco mode, guys. It's something, it's a setting on that thermostat that turns off the electric heat because it doesn't, it, it wants to save money. So, and like I said, guys, you guys heard me say this before, but between November and February to March, customers with heat pumps are expected to have higher than normal bills just due to the fact that you're gonna have frigid temperatures overnight and this heat pump needs to turn off to defrost itself. So whatever your backup heat is, whether it be a gas furnace or electric heat, that is gonna be the primary heat source during these times of defrost outside with the heat pump. And guys, yeah, I mean, like I said, I did it once, even twice with that thermostat, but like I said, I just didn't feel like dealing with that thermostat again. And the customer agreed, so we just got a brand new T6 in and we're rocking and rolling. Oh, my suction line is burning hot, which is good. Which is good. And guys, you know another thing I'm thinking? I know with Duquesne Furnaces, they have the recall button. I wonder why they don't have the recall button on Duquesne defrost boards. And I think maybe not due to the fact that, I'm thinking about it, probably not due to the fact that there's not much that can go wrong besides a low pressure lockout, a high pressure lockout, or a defrost unlike a furnace a furnace has a lot more safeties that you have to deal with and also airflow related concerns but yeah guys that's just another another thought in my head i'll be thinking about sometimes guys believe it or not one of these inventions i'm thinking about probably is going to pay off once i find a way to add returns to the second floor without them on the house i'm gonna I'm find a way to to monetize that that's for sure yeah but guys everything is rocking and rolling this is just technically a no heat call and this was a thermostat issue and while i'm here i just popped a new filter in the old filter was plugged up i just put a new filter in and she's good she's rocking and rolling and clearance clearance looks good the unit is facing out so i don't have to jump behind the unit to take off the, take out the electric panel everything is rocking and rolling and in the future any concerns especially with cleaning the ac portion of that heat pump we'll definitely put this customer on the maintenance list to make sure that we can stay on top of everything and cool i'm just making sure I got my everything I need here. All right, guys. I'm going to go chop it up with the customer, make sure he's rocking and rolling. He understands the program features and everything on that thermostat. And I got to bring him down here to show him where and how to replace that filter. And we're peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one.